Steatocystomas are benign cysts, also known as sebaceous duct cysts. They tend to occur between the second and fourth decades, and the commonest age is around puberty. They occur most frequently on the chest, but may also occur on the face, back and limbs. This is a low-power overview of a steatocystoma, showing a cystic structure with a rather corrugated lining. Steatocystomas may occur as a single lesion, in which case they are known as steatocystoma simplex, but more frequently they occur as multiple cysts or steatocystoma multiplex, and some cases of steatocystoma multiplex have an autosomal dominant inheritance. Histologically, steatocystomas resemble sebaceous gland ducts. They have a corrugated cyst lining, and the lining is composed of stratified squamous epithelium with an inconspicuous or absent granular layer. Sebaceous glands may be found in or adjacent to the cyst wall, and vellus hairs may also be present in the cyst. The cyst has a rather corrugated appearance and is lined by stratified squamous epithelium. At the left side of the picture are small sebaceous glands that form part of the cyst. And here is a high power view of the stratified squamous epithelium lining the cyst. Pilar and epidermoid cysts are often referred to as sebaceous cysts, but the reality is that it is the steatocystoma that is the true sebaceous cyst. 